Hey guys, welcome back to From the Depths. Today we were going to start off in the designer mode because I think it's time to build a submarine. I'm not really sure if I want to make a, a big submarine or a small submarine. All I know is I want something that has a nice missile system so I can take out air. I definitely need torpedoes because you can't have a submarine without torpedoes. And I kind of want a particle cannon. After fighting the, um, what was it called? The impulse, I think, from the twin guard. Seeing how good that particle cannon was against the flying, against the attack doves. I think I definitely want to try a particle cannon. You know, I really haven't built that many submarines in From the Depths. I have like two that actually work. They're not too complicated. It's a lot like building a hovercraft. So this episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter than usual because a lot of the time I'm going to be building, I'm going to be probably cutting out a lot of the building. So hopefully we'll get a chance to test it, but I am not too sure about that. I know I definitely want the particle cannon up front. I want it to be sort of like a short range thing that can just kind of blow up the whole underside of a boat. I really hope the shape of this thing doesn't turn out too weird. It's looking a little a little short and a little tall. I'm trying, yeah, it'll work out. I'm sure I'll figure something out. I'm also not really sure where the best place to armor this thing's at because the main things that are going to attack it will probably be torpedoes. And those things just kind of hit everywhere on the ship, so... Like with my, uh, my hammerhead, I could just armor the front section because the AI is just going to point at the target. But for this, I have absolutely no idea where the weapons like where the enemy is going to be because subs aren't subs aren't usually uh that quick i don't think i'm gonna have a problem making this thing sink in the water it's just gonna be <laughs> making it so it's able to at least move it's gonna be the tricky part uh, i'm not sure i'm just gonna go with this one i think um i kind of like the look of this i might just go with it just because of that also might not be too difficult to do the tubing That should be good. Uh, hooked up the um, particle cannon. It's all looped up. It's kind of complicated, but it works. Particle cannons are one of those guns that I feel like I don't use that much, or like at least when I do use them, they're never really. Uh, I don't know. They they just I feel like they take so many resources to use that they're not usually worth it. Like they're easy, and there's no way to defend against them, which is the best reason to use them. But just the fact that they, they cost, they're just so expensive to use, just makes me usually not use them too much. Okay, I think I'm starting to get a sense for how I want the front to look at least. I think I want to add some more heavy armor here, along with just some medium torpedoes. And then on each side of the sub, I'm going to add probably four large torpedoes. I want this thing to be able to take out any submarine. Like, if you build a sub, it's, it's definitely got to be able to handle other subs for sure. Oh, you know another ship I want to make in the future? I definitely want to make a, uh, what's that called? Aircraft carrier of some sort. I thought about making something to, like, use the doves as the aircraft, but I feel like the doves are kind of, they're a little bit too good to be on an aircraft carrier. I don't know, they kind of stand on their own. But I'll make, like, a really small plane at some point. So far we're doing okay on cost, but we haven't even built the rest of the ship yet. This is kind of all we have for the sub. This is all, all like, of my ship start, you know? Yeah, that, 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 that could work. I, I mean, it's it's not done yet, of course, but I think I'm getting closer with what I want. Maybe even just slope it here. Oh, less protective, but at this point, I just want it to look good. Might need to add some different colors here. The uh, feels a little bit too bright. Maybe not, though. Maybe I'll even, I won't even have small torpedoes. I might just keep it like full like armor in the front. I'm not sure yet. I'm not really sure what to do with the whole back section. Like, guys, I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is, um... It's gonna be... It's gonna be weird. But hopefully, it, it, like, it looks okay at the end. Okay, I think I might stop with the heavy armor for now. I think I've kind of used enough of it. I think the front section is the most important part anyway. So as long as that's good, that should be good as well. Ooh, okay, so we have some we have some progress on the front. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm, I'm doing. I, I think it might be okay, though. Yeah, it's looking... Okay, I have uh, 8 torpedoes, large torpedoes, and then 8 times, so yeah, 16 uh, medium ones in the front. I'm thinking I'll probably put anti-torpedo defense along the sides with probably ammo as well. There's going to be a lot of heavy armor on this thing. Jeez. Yeah, I want you guys to let me know if um, you enjoy leaving building in the episodes themselves, or if I should just cut out the building entirely. And then just show you guys the fights. I personally think um, it's nice to show some building because building is a big part of the game. Um, it takes the majority of the time, to be honest. 
Okay, I think I have sort of a basic outline. It's gonna be kind of bulky here in the front, um, and then kind of get smaller as it goes back, and then I'll add some propellers here in the back, maybe with another steam engine. Uh, prefab, of course, because I can't be bothered to learn how steam engines work. I think the shape's really starting to come around, I gotta be honest. I don't know, I really like this style of building. Whenever I'm building uh, submarines or hovercraft, I really like starting with just the the engine. Like, if there's a laser system, I start with that first, and then build everything around it. And I find that um, just the size of the weapon system I want to use determines everything else, so then it's a lot easier to uh, build the kind of ship I want. But yeah, I just want to say... Um, Thank you for over 100 subs. Um, I've kind of been meaning to say that for a while, so I guess I'll just say it now. That's yeah, awesome. Um, road to 1000. That's the goal, I guess. I actually think it might be possible. You know, when I first started this, I, I thought I'm probably not going to get a thousand subs, but I don't know. You know, it's been it's been increasing little by little every day. So, who knows? You know what? I just thought of a good idea. Um, I have this extra space, like all this extra space here. I'm like, why not just expand the particle cannon? You know, why not make this thing extremely deadly? You know? I feel like I might need a, a, a better engine than just the prefab one spammed over and over again. But, you know, may maybe it'll work out. Who knows? The ship has gone pretty heavy, so I think the deadly blades are struggling a little bit, but it should be okay. Can't be afraid to delete what you've built in this game to make things look a little bit better. Yeah, that's good. That looks very good. Awesome. But this, this is really coming along here. I think I'm just going to add some like fins on the outside, but this thing is really almost done, I would say. I do wish I knew what to put here. I could just maybe put like a, a cockpit or something. Yeah, maybe add some detection, some cameras, things like that. Yeah, that could look cool. And for back here, I just feel like I should put a steam engine. That's too big. I mean, maybe I can reverse engineer something. Maybe I can figure out how to build this thing. Yeah, I don't know about this, guys. I don't think I don't think sideways can work. It doesn't look like there's a, like a curved shaft, so I don't know how to get this part like up. I mean, the real issue is I just, I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, like, I learned how to generate power at steam engines a long time ago by, like, reverse engineering this thing. But I just... I don't feel like learning that right now. I think for the time being, I'm just going to leave it as... Um, just the standard propellers. Just for now. In the future, I'll upgrade to a steam engine once I figure out how to do that but these aren't bad um oh man so much slower though yeah that'll do and then i'll just add a bunch of propellers wait something's off what's going on oh i just forgot to put these here i was like <laughs> did i make a huge mistake or something jeez <laughs> yeah i know this isn't ideal but Well, I know how I do right now. Oh, that's so terrible. Thank God. <laughs> that move. Just add some basic pitch control as well. Okay, you know what? 22 meters per second. That's not like the absolute worst or anything like that. Oh, God. I need to add the, uh, the controls, but... Oh, that was by mistake. Like, I act, I misplaced the block, and I... That actually looks... Kinda cool. Right? Doesn't that... Uh, that is a little... Yeah, that's kinda cool. I like this, because it adds a little bit, like, of a design to the ship. But it also has a really nice function that I, I, I desperately need as well. I'm just gonna keep adding it, you know. Repetition, man. That's, that's what does it. Not a good builder, just... To a simple pattern over and over again. Seems to get the job done. Not that I'm like a, a terrible builder or anything, it's just to build something that looks really cool, you have to spend a long time on it, so this is just kind of a little shortcut. I'm not too sure I'm not too happy about this part right here. 
I think it looks like I like the shape of it. I'm just not sure I executed it exactly how I wanted it to be done. But we're we're almost done. You know, they should add a redo button. Uh, if they already have one of those, let me know what it is. But if they don't have it, they definitely need one of those. Because there's times I just undo something. I'm like, wait, wait, no, I did not mean to undo that. I feel like my uh, the ducks are kind of going horizontal to the, to the ship, which is kind of weird. So I'll I keep the same pattern going. Okay, this is the turners. I got my pitch turning roll is up next. Um, I also need my AI set up, and I also need to configure my different missiles and torpedoes. So I guess I'll be back when I'm ready for my first test run. Okay, torpedoes are being launched. So are the missiles. The missiles are three warheads, pretty good. Torpedoes have a lot of warheads as well. Um, oh, wait a second, I need to change that combat altitude. So let's just do like never, negative 30. Uh, I just want to see how well this thing does tracking a ship. I'm going to set that combat distance a little bit closer. Because I, I think I want this thing to be pretty close range. But there goes our sub. Pointing to the target. Altitude is good. I think once it gets to 500 meters, it'll start backing up. Yeah, so... Speed is slowing down, yep, because it's got close enough. Okay, let's try the particle cannon out. Would this stuff be in your way? Oh, it was. Okay. Let's see the damage. Quite a lot of damage. Did not use nearly as much energy as I thought it would, but yeah, there we go. That's good. That's perfect. Okay, so clearly the, um, the turret cap is the problem. Let me change that up real quick. I might leave it just like that, uh, but that's very good. I need to change the altitude for the torpedoes as well. Clearly zero is too high for something like this. Let's see how well this thing does against another submarine. So the, the final cost I have right now is 561,000 materials. Um, it'll probably go up a little bit as I make some more tweaks, uh, add some more proper um, propellers and stuff. So this is a sub I made. Um, it's pretty cool. See how well it does against its torpedo defense. Particle can miss, sadly. Oh my god. Wow, that was... That was pretty good. 11% damage. Did not see our smaller torpedoes, but the larger ones are really what's meant to do the damage. I'm gonna turn it on. See how well our anti-torpedo defense goes. Destroy those torpedoes. Not really a fair fight, if I'm being honest. It's this one. Ooh, good hit with the particle cannon. They got a big chunk of the front. Torpedoes going in. Seems like the torpedoes are big enough to get through most defenses. Okay, nice. Um, also, submarine battles are kind of hard to watch. You have to be like right next to the ship to see the damage. But definitely, definitely pretty good. Um, I also like the look of it. I think this looks pretty cool. I would like to get some yellow in it somewhere. Um, just to, you know, add some more color to it. Um, I don't mind the, the plain white look, but I think it would be nice to get something else. Nice. Well, I've been building this thing for, I think, probably a total of maybe four hours. Um, not sure how much you guys are actually going to see, so... Um, either I jump back into the campaign to test it out, or this is going to be the end of the video. Okay, so I did not go back to the campaign, but I did do some final edits to the ship. So, um, here are some changes I made before I end off the video. Okay, you know, I think I'm going to call this sub pretty much done. I have, I just added a detection system, uh, passive and, um, 
I guess active sonars. Yeah, passive and active sonars. Um, I think that's really all you need on submarines. I don't think you can even put any other another thing here. I could use some like uh, like radar buoys and stuff, get a distraction stick, which I probably will do. I'll probably add one like right here because I got plenty of space for a distraction stick. Um, it'll help against enemy missiles, but also maybe I can get some radar so I can see people above water as well a little bit easier. Um, but I think let's give this an official test. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I spawned in uh, my sub again. It's right here. Uh, like my old one. 300,000 materials. So I'm just going to have it go against this one. So they're each going to be fighting. Um, and let's just see who wins. Torpedoes getting deployed. Perfect. Torpedoes are out. Defense is going. It's focusing the uh, the big torpedoes, which is good. Taking some damage, but overall, pretty good. Let's see how well we do at the offense. Large torpedoes going in. Looks like some have been taken out, but a couple made it through. And then the smaller ones go in, do some more damage. Okay, so first volley. I definitely won that. Oh, torpedoes going in, demolishing this thing. Yeah, Steel Striders doesn't stand a chance since we go against them. Or who can hit? I think it might hit there. I'm not sure. But I like the um, torpedo defense. It's not bad. Definitely getting the job done. Yeah, perfect. And these guys pretty much just clean up everything. I might make them EMP. But they're doing a pretty fine job without being EMP. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I love torpedoes. Especially big ones. This thing just got ripped apart. Let's test out the anti-air. So I'm going to get in three doves. Let's see how the missile system goes. Torpedoes in the water. Yeah, they're a little bit too quick. It's a shame. But missiles very quick. Did a good job not going for the distraction sticks too much. They don't seem to be doing that much damage, which is okay. Next volley. They're very fast, which is nice. Some are going for the distraction sticks, but that's a good damage here. Okay, they work though, you know, they work. This thing got teared to shreds, that one's down. That one is not doing so great. Nice, I think all I really need to do is just add a cockpit and then um, we're pretty much done. I don't think I've ever built a sub with this many torpedoes before. It's just awesome to see the uh, amount of damage I can do. I'm not going to test it against um, any submarines from the Steel Striders right now. I don't like to test ships um, in the designer mode if I plan to use them in the campaign. I kind of like the surprise, but I can definitely do the damage. I'm not sure I can take it. Um, I've got a lot of anti-missile defense, but the... Uh, when they fire, seems to be a little bit finicky, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know. So I, I don't have any shielding on this thing, but the um, the sheer offensive capability might be enough to wipe out the enemy before it takes damage. I think that's kind of my style. Um, definitely offense over defense. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was mostly just a, a building video. Um, let you guys know what you think. If you like seeing building videos every once in a while, I'll do them more often. Or if you guys don't like it, I'll just do the building off camera and then you guys can watch the results and the final product. Yeah, so here, here are the three subs I've built so far. Um, I might deploy these in the campaign, I'm not sure. I've been trying to like build new. So this is the first sub I built. Like the first sub I built that I was actually pretty proud of. It's got um, missile system, four large torpedoes, these are pretty big torpedoes as well, and it's got some torpedoes in the front. So I really based uh, this design 
off of this one, just trying to make it look a little bit better. So you can kind of see a direct comparison between the two. About the same size, this one costs almost twice as much though. I think that cost is worth it because I have twice as many large torpedoes. The anti-missile defense, anti-torpedo defense, I mean, is twice as large. Uh, I think the missile system also might be twice as large, so also much more armored. So I think just better overall. I do need to work on speed. Uh, same problem with this one, do not know how to make a steam engine. Um, here's the second sub I built over here. Uh, I was just trying out a cool pattern. I never quite figured out how to make the front or the back. Um, but this one's just got so many missiles, and you can kind of see the anti-missile defense is much better than this one over here. I tried to copy a similar design. Um, so as you can kind of see, this thing is kind of like a merger between these two subs. It's just a little bit beefier, and I think the final shape turned out pretty well. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.